crazy hair. Hey, hey guys, happy Monday morning. How the hell are you? Did you have a cracking weekend? Mine was pretty damn good. Pretty low key, uh, plenty of time with the fam bam, plenty of downtime, which was needed. And yeah, here we are. Monday morning comes around again for another crazy week. Hey Tamara, oh, nice to see you girl. I know I say that every week, but I feel like you are oh so far away that it's um, super nice to have you bright and early on the line. I can see you guys jumping on, so say hurrah, so I know who's there. Um, so yeah, I had a super fun weekend. I had a super, super fun Friday as well. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more sharing with you in the next week or whatever. Hey, hey, Carly Flowen, um, about what Super Fun Friday is all about for me, because I get asked um, every Friday when it rolls around, I get asked, God, you never work on a Friday. And how do you find the time? And how did you find your friends? And what are you guys up to today? And can I come join the party and all that sort of stuff? Um, and Super Fun Fridays is a really, really critical day in my week and in my um, self-care routine at the moment. So I'm not going to talk about that today, but I will in the coming weeks, let's say. Uh, so what I am talking about today, hello, hello, ah, Ellie. Hi, Nishua, nice to see you. Hey, Cara. Oh, yay. Some of my favorite peeps on the line. Um, so what I am talking about today is boom. Um, you might have seen, and if you haven't, you're like living under a rock, but um, I am pushing out some amazing content this week, all anchored under the concept of boom. So um, the catch cry boom and if somebody can turn the counter on and count how many times in this video I say boom, <laughs> that would be amazing. I was chatting to somebody last week and they were like, you know, when I first started doing live videos, all I said was um, 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 Stevie. It was Stevie from Stevie Says Social. Um, 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 um. And there was like somebody who commented that, they, that she had said like um 35 times. So today I'm going to say boom <laughs> 35 times in this little video. Hey, Erin, Sarah. You're just too nice, girl. I'll pay you later. Thanks. Kristen, nice to see you as well. So, um, boom is a little catch cry of mine, and it's probably not one that I have shed enough light on or given you a gr enough insight into what the real meaning of it is for me. And that's not something I even realized until I had a little online bully, um, I don't know, month, a month or two ago, just say hang some shit on me on social media because of my hey hey legends boom as being just fluffy non-helpful content hey beck nice to see you um and it hey caught me off guard because it was like so uncalled for and so unnecessary and not not pretty at all. But it also made me realize that I probably haven't shared enough about what boom means for me. Got that counter going. <laughs> and how important it really is to um, where I'm at in my journey and probably where, or where I know a lot of you guys are at as well. So having worked in the corporate world for a gazillion years, and I literally told a guy this morning that I worked in the corporate world for like a hundred years and he was like, wow, you look so good for your age. Because he was American when we had this like ha 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 moment. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Um, so I've worked in the corporate world for a thousand years and when you are constantly surrounded by people, um, sitting at your desk in a team with lots of people around you, you're constantly sharing. And when you get a little email that's a little win or you have someone that comes back and says yes or you like, you know, rocket, you've automatically got somebody to kind of go, oh my God, they came back and said yes, or yes, we've got ranging in Woolworths of that product, or the TV commercial's ready to go, or the new packaging's going to print, whatever it might be. You've got those people around you to kind of have that mini little high five, woohoo, boom moment with. And it was one of my biggest learnings when I left the corporate world and started um, working full time in my business by myself at home at my desk. I'd have these little wins and I'd find myself at my desk going, oh, cool. Okay, keep working. <laughs> and I didn't have anybody to share them with. They weren't massive enough to kind of make a phone call or shout out to anybody else or 
you know, reach out to someone and go, hey, I've had a little win. And so I just found myself feeling like a hamster perpetually on this, um, you know, treadmill, never ever stopping and celebrating those little wins. And a boom moment for me is just a tiny little achievement or a goal or a little tick box where you're like, oh, yeah, nailed it. Keep moving forward. And it doesn't matter how big or how small your boom moment is. And I'll talk you through that in a little bit more detail um, as we get through this session today. But it's one of those moments in your biz or in your personal life that just makes you feel proud. And it just kind of stops you in your tracks for a second and you're like, oh, I achieved it or I got there or I finally did it or yes, progress moving forward. And it kind of takes you back for a nanosecond and you're like, oh, huh, yay me, boom. So um, late last year I went to Tony Robbins and he's all about celebrating the little wins and he's really big about um, your, your, your state. So your state of mind and how you hold your body and how you sit and the movements that you make. And in the day leading up to our fire walk um, that I did last year, yep, I'm a fire walker. Um, he talked a lot about how to hold yourself and how to make your move. And when you make your move, it's a physical move. And we all, like all 6,000 of us made the decision at that moment, what our move was. And it instantly with a little bit of, yeah, gets you in the mood or not gets you in the mood, not like not, not that mood, but it gets you in that shit. Yes. State of mind. And my move is like this. And it was really interesting seeing everybody around us. Some people were like this. Some people were like this. Everybody was like, and he would he would get up on stage and he would say, make your move. And you just see all these random like hand movements of people going, yeah, or this, or shit, yeah, or whatever it might be. But it's that kind of boom moment that you're like, yeah, I've done this. <laughs> I know all of that makes me sound like a really aggressive, crazy person, but... There's something in that, yeah, boom moment that makes you feel proud and acknowledges to yourself that you have made progress and you're moving forward. And I, I was finding myself more and more being in my own beers. I was finding myself more and more not having anybody to share those moments with and having those little alone moments boom moments. I felt like a bit of a dick and I felt a little bit sad that I didn't have a group of people around me that I could share those wins with. And I have spent a lot of time and energy fixing and changing that over the last 12 months. Um, and I do share those little boom moments with a, a certain group of people now. And no matter how big or how small, it's so, 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 so important that we take stock, that we pause and that we celebrate those little wins. And um, in the next week in my social media content, I am going to be showcasing some of my favorite people. I've already started this morning and you can already identify who my number one favorite person is. Um, showcasing some of their boom boom moments, which really is has been a really, really interesting process for me, asking some of my fave people what their boom moments are. Um, and they've come back with this really, really, really broad um, spectrum of boom moments. So some of them have, like Carly shared her story this morning, um, you know, like heart-wrenching, emotional, she nearly died giving birth to her son, like horrendous, horrendous story. But that was her moment that made her realize, hey, Anna, made her realize that she was strong and that she was more than capable and boom, she's off and racing and now she can take on the world. Versus some of the other stories that you'll hear during the week are those smaller wins or those um, little baby steps forward that help our motivation and help remind us that we are moving forward, we are making progress, and hells yeah, we have got this. Because when you are in small business on your own, even if you've got a virtual team, it can be, there's that word again, really isolating and really lonely. And I've found this endlessly in my business, and it's so, 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 so important that we do draw a line in the sand, take stop, stock and celebrate those teeny tiny little wins um, so that you can acknowledge the amazing things that we're all doing because it's very, very easy to get caught in that cycle um, that when you don't have the people around you to celebrate those, huh, yay me, you just kind of never feel like you get there and you never feel like you reach success or you reach your goal. It's always like, oh, okay, a baby step forward. I've got to keep pushing, push, push, push. And you never acknowledge the amazing milestones and the things that you are achieving as you go. So 
a boom moment for me, that's boom number 75,000, is um, a series of small things that help you move forward and help identify for you that you are making progress and that you are building momentum as you go. And that momentum is what fuels the motivation in our tummies or in our guts or in our brains or what, wherever your motivation sits uh, and what helps you keep pushing, helps keep you moving forward and what helps you build your resilience. So um, when I decided to shine light on boom, for all you guys and to kind of identify and explain to you what it's all about for me um, and this week for a whole number of different amazing women, business women who are, who are now some of my closest, closest friends as well, um, you'll see that boom moments come in all different shapes and sizes and that is freaking amazing. I love that people interpret it in their own way um, and in their with their own expression throughout that. And you'll see that come through more and more. I have asked um, how many? Six or seven different women to share their boom moment and to take a photo of themselves. And that process was amazing. It was so much fun getting everybody's um, responses back, reading their boom moments. I was like, holy hell, I am surrounded by some amazing people. And there's some freaking awesome like video footage as well. So um, I hope that helps you guys have a think about what your boom moments are and how you can stop and celebrate those big moments, all those little moments. And um, in pulling together all of this content or this little series of content, whatever you want to call it, I had to think about what my boom moment was um, or what my boom moments are. And I really see um, lots of different ones. So there's certainly not just one. I didn't have that kind of one moment that I was had an awakening and that this massive light bulb went off and I was like, oh, now I can X, Y, and Z. It, for me personally, just a personal preference, it has been about those teeny tiny baby steps forward. And I've talked lots about the journey of ESS over the last 18 months. Um, and the boom moments that I have had consistently have been the fuel and the fire, a fuel for the fire that has kept me pushing forward. There's been a few really monumental moments um, and I probably haven't acknowledged them or realised their... Um, enormity like just the massive impact that they've had on my life um going to tony robbins last year talking about tony robbins amazingness again i've got a couple of clients who are going this year and i'm insanely jealous that i'm not but i'm not but um walking on fire last year as absolutely bananas crazy pants as that sounds really really did show me the strength and the internal strength of ess and fuck if i can walk on fire and I, as I have reminded myself many times over the last 12 months, if I can walk on fire, I can freaking do anything. Boom, going to keep moving forward. So that was a really, really big one for me. Um, the other one for me was, so I think that, so before I move on to, into too much detail on my moments, but I think the thing that it's important to take stock and realise is a boom moment is an emotional moment. So it's an it's a meaningful emotional moment. So it's not like one of those, it doesn't have to be a pull on the heartstrings, kind of had a little cry, boom, moving forward. But it because it's a meaningful moment, it's it's got a it does naturally pull on your heartstrings to a degree, I guess. And anything that we're doing and that we're working towards and that means anything to us, if we show ourselves progress and we step baby step forward that meaningful work has a greater impact on our emotions and on our, on our, on our internal self. Does that make sense? Um, so I think for me, oh, sort of three years ago, I started to realise that the corporate world was losing its meaning for me um, and that pushing household products through the supermarkets onto into people's fridges just didn't have the same meaning that I once felt or I once thought. And when you're working on something that, um, cons you're consistently showing up, you're putting a huge amount of effort into it, you're sacrificing your family and your sense of self and all the rest of it, and it's not meaningful to you, you're not congruent to your set of values and it doesn't sit well with you and you lose your motivation and you, you know, you soon realise that you're doing stuff that you're not actually that passionate about or that doesn't mean anything to you. So I took a lot of stock um, two and a half years ago, something like that, 
about the around the same time that my son was born, my little one, my son was born, of kind of working out what the meaning of life what my corporate job meant to me and whether it did have a role in my life moving forward. And I had a really, really big boom moment when I made the decision to focus on my business 100%. Uh, I had been straddling um, the corporate world and small business land for many years and it had worked really well for a long time because I loved the corporate world and there were still things in there that were meaningful for me. But as I grew and as I changed, you know, two, three years ago, I started to realize that that side of the world um, meant less to me and the meaningful work was coming from my own business. So a really big boom moment for me was when I made the decision to leave the corporate world and dedicate 100% of my time, effort, energy, headspace to my biz um, and I've never looked back and I get asked a lot if I miss the corporate world um, and there's parts of it that I do miss the sense of connection and being part of something bigger was always going to be the stuff that I missed but um, the stuff that I've picked up that I never even imagined or never thought possible way outweighs that um, so leaving the corporate world was a really big boom moment for me that first Monday when I was meant to be at my desk and instead I was at home at my desk was like ah, I've done it boom so fire walking and leaving corporate world they're both pretty freaking massive boom moments but to get there there was lots of baby steps um the other really big one for me was prioritizing self-care and prioritizing self um something that I was freaking terrible at and I've spoken to a number of you on the line um about that over the last I don't know, whatever, a couple of years, um, I was like number 75,000 on the priority list um, three or four years ago. Uh, yeah, like I used to joke with Mr. ESS that like the Melbourne Football Club and prawns and oysters and putting the rubbish out and all these like ridiculous things were sitting higher on the priority list um, for me than I was. Uh, and I was turning into a pretty hideous human being, if I'm honest. Um, I was really unhappy with myself. I was really unhappy with where I was at in life, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So of course that was having an impact on my business and my corporate work. Um, and I just was not a very happy little Vegemite. So, hey, Lucy, nice to see see you hello hello um so prioritizing myself and making the decision to um push myself up that list and I don't want to say number one because it's really hard when you're a juggler and as we all are but putting myself higher on that priority list um was a really big boom moment for me and I didn't I didn't kind of one day go, okay, today I am higher on the priority list, boom. I just made the conscious decision that I needed to invest more into me if I was going to be able to invest into anybody else, whether that be my kids or my partner or my friends or my clients or anybody else. Um, and it became evident oh so quickly that the, as like, almost like a, flick, a switch was flipped. As soon as I started investing in myself, I had so much more to give other people and I became, um, I became a better human being, but I also became a much better friend, a much better mum, a much better business owner, so on and so forth. So um, getting myself aware of the fact that I was at the bottom of the priority list uh, and that self-care had to play a bigger role in what I was doing and how I was going, or the person that I wanted to be moving forward, um, kind of kick-started a number of small boom moments and I fixed my food in the first instance and I lost a shitload of weight. And I've talked about it a lot over the last 12 months, um, but I made some really, really massive changes at home for me, all about me. Like I got comfortable pretty quickly and I've talked to a few of you guys about this. I got comfortable pretty quickly with being more selfish, um, which is a pretty weird concept when you kind of like think about it it's like it's actually a good thing to sometimes be selfish and that just was so, such a foreign concept for me but if i reflect on the last two years and where i've been and how i've got to where i am today and all that sort of stuff being selfish and learning to put myself much higher on that priority list not 24 7 but at least sometimes um i've made it like enormous leaps and bounds for myself, um, for my health, for my children, for my family and friends and for my loved ones. And I'm a much better human being for it. So I can now sit back and reflect on that journey and think about those teeny tiny boom moments and those milestones and those achievements that I've had along the way. And all of them are really emotional and really meaningful for me. So they do become those little, yeah, 
boom moments for me. Um, and I'm, I'm still not comfortable telling people the number when it comes to my weight loss, but, um, and I'm not quite sure why that is, but we'll talk about that another day. <laughs> but I've lost heaps of weight and, um, and that is a freaking massive boom moment when I think about it more now. Fire walking, leaving the corporate world and letting go of all that stuff, um, a lot of it being kgs has absolutely been some freaking massive boom moments for me um and the fourth really big boom moment um which is a freaking massive one but it again has been a series of smaller ones that have helped me move forward has been building a circle of amazing humans around me and if you're on my email list and you got my email last week you would have um, read a little bit about that but um you know ex-corporate worker, constantly surrounded by people, constantly part of something bigger, suddenly at home by herself all the time. Recipe for freaking disaster. Um, and I didn't have a great network and I didn't realize there were amazing human beings out there trying to do what I was trying to do. Um, and I just didn't have a group of cheerleaders or a group of people in my corner that I could call on. And I made the conscious decision that I wanted to make meaningful, authentic um, friendships with a small group of people. I sit on the fence of introverted and extroverted. I know that surprises a lot of people, but I do have a lot of really introverted um, tendencies. Um, I don't like being life of the party. Um, I don't, I, and I need to recharge my batteries by myself. I need to go away and like hide basically alone time. That's why I'm at the beach every day, 15 minutes recharging my batteries. Um, so I needed a group of people around me that were amazing and I needed that network and that support and I have absolutely hands down got that now um, and I've got fr like beyond amazing human beings in my corner surrounding me permanently who I know are just there if I need them at the end of the phone or whatever. Um, so it's been a, such an amazing journey and again upon reflection when I look back at that that's like a freaking massive like double boom. I don't even know if that's a thing. Let's roll with it. Um, that I now do have the support and the love and the care of those people in my corner. And again, boom, I couldn't have done that unless I had, I had identified that I needed that and that I'd prioritize that in my goals. I know it sounds a bit weird to make a goal about making friends, but, um, I work with a huge number of clients who don't have that network and who don't have people that they can bounce ideas off or that they can reach out and go, is this right? Or what do I do about this? Or this person said that, what do I do? Or whenever you get stuck or anything like that. So a massive boom moment for me was has, has been over time, baby steps, putting myself out there, uncomfortably saying to people, oh, I think you're a really cool chick. Let's you want to like you know hang out or meet for a coffee sometime or which is totally uncomfortable and foreign and feels like you're dating business babes basically and you kind of are to a degree but there's something really really nice as those relationships start to form over time and you realize that that short-term uncomfortable moment is totally worth it an ambivert. Yes, Cara, totally. I sit on the fence. Hey, Marissa, sit on the fence. I'm an ambivert. Let's roll with that. Thanks, girl. Lauren, this is where I'm at. Needing a circle. That's the biggest thing I miss about corporate. Totally. I, t I cannot relate with that more. Like I absolutely, totally, totally, totally get that. Um, and I know this sounds like a potentially a harsh thing to say, but you are in control of that girl and you just need to get a little bit uncomfortable and put yourself out there and start chatting and start um, sharing a little bit about you and putting your hand in the air and going, oh my God, I've got no friends. I've got, I've got no friends. I've got no business circle or can anybody help with this? Or this is what I'm currently finding in my business. What do you reckon? And there's lots of little pockets of the internet and like the ESS Biz Squad, Lauren. Um, and there's lots of people out there who love playing Biz Cupid and um, you've just got to kind of put yourself out there a little bit and go, I know this is uncomfortable. And there's plenty of people that over the last 12 months I've gone, hey, can we have a coffee? And it's never eventuated for whatever reason or it's eventuated and it's been a bit awkward and I've realized that I'm not your type of person or you're not my person or whatever. But that's okay. And we didn't ever meet for coffee and go, oh, you're hideous and oh, you hate me too. It's just more of understanding whether that connection is there and whether we are the same type of person. Um, but those teeny tiny little meaningful moments 
being comfortable and getting uncomfortable and putting yourself out there, finding your tribe, they will very quickly become boom moments. And I had someone who I'm not going to name because I don't want to embarrass her, but she came to one of my workshops um, a couple of months ago and she realized she suddenly had a freaking massive boom moment in my workshop. And it kind of took me aback as much as it took her aback, aback? back, whatever. Um, and when she realized that she wasn't alone and she realized that in the room of people that we had there, uh, and in the broader ESS biz squad, that there were a group of amazing people there who were all on the same journey and all trying to support one another, all trying to kick the same goals. And she broke down she had a massive cry. And it was just one of those, like, if I, if I had been able to say, boom, girl, I would have, because it was such an emotional moment for her because it was so meaningful for her to realize that she wasn't alone and that she didn't have to sit by herself all day every day and celebrate those moments and have that day-to-day -day thing by herself. Um, so finding my people has been probably my, well, I don't know, I won't say my number one. I, won't, I don't even need to put them in order, but has been one of the massive ones for me. Um, and all of those things, fire walking, leaving corporate, finding my circle, losing a bucket load of weight, have all been massive breakthroughs for me and had emotional meaning. So it every single one of those moments have ignited emotion for me um, and have made me realize and that fuel, that kind of, when you light that switch, that fuel is what motivates you to keep moving forward. And still now, even just talking about those four things now, I'm not going to cry because I've cried enough on Facebook Lives this year, but it, like, it really, really fuels that fire and it makes me feel motivated and it makes me feel shit yeah like if I can achieve those things I can do anything and there's been lots of times where I've been tested and I've had to really work through my resilience um, storage over the last six months and every single time I've reminded myself that I'm resilient as fuck like I've literally gone I've got this I'm resilient as fuck because I'm really confident that because of those boom moments and because of those motivating milestones that I have been able to achieve and I've been able to move forward with I can do anything like I can genuinely take my business anywhere I can go I can you know earn as much money as I want and do whatever I want and supply and provide for my family and X, Y, and Z. So those motivating milestones have been what have kept me going and kept the fire in my belly burning. Look, I'll be honest, not all day, every day. We, it's not like I'm permanently on cloud nine going, I'm a firewalker. I've totally got this. We all have those moments. We're all human. But when you come back to it and when you're ready to move forward and get out of your pity party, I'm like the queen of pity parties. I'm really good at throwing pity parties, but I'm also really good at pulling myself out of that. And that within itself is a bit of a boom moment that I can sit it at the pity party, ESS pity party for one. I'm really good at them. They're not very fun. I'm not going to invite any of you along. Um, but I also know now how to pull myself out of them and what I need to do, what I need to say. And I, Oh, every single time I reflect on my boom moments and I remind myself of those motivating, meaningful, emotional moments that have helped me move, move forward. And that's where I'm like back pity party over moving forward. So it triggers the perception of progress. And when you can remind yourself that you are progressing and that you are achieving and you are moving forward, something clicks, like something falls into place where you're like, oh, Maybe I, maybe I could do this. Maybe I have got this. Maybe this is possible. Boom, you're off and racing or you're off and moving forward again. So it's small biz land, personal life, like freaking roller coaster of emotions, but reminding yourself to celebrate those teeny tiny and or massive milestones is oh so important. And that is really where boom, make your move comes from for me and it really impacts my emotions and it enables me to set myself up for success moving forward and that future performance and that future momentum piecing those pieces together and keep moving forward is ultimately what's going to get me closer and closer to my goals where I'm trying to get to so um, boom is not just a trivial little throwaway shit yeah kind of comment it means oh 
oh so much to me and as I said earlier over the next week I'm showcasing um, some of the most amazing people in the universe on both Insta and Facebook and they're gonna show share their boom moments you might notice and I I've just realized I'm not even freaking wearing my boom earrings sorry Zoe don't look um, I'll put them on later that's a really big I've just completely fucked up <laughs> They don't match my outfit. I should have worn better clothes. Um, I have an amazing pair of earrings that I've collaborated with Zoe from Mannix & Co on, which are all over my socials. Not on my ears right now, but they will be later on. <laughs> well played, Emily. Well played. See, human. Stuffing up all the time. Um, and the boom earrings, again, are just a teeny tiny little symbolic reminder that shit, yeah, you've got this and you can absolutely own this moving forward. Um, and if nothing else, they're super cute. They're red and pink and they're freaking hot and they're just freaking gorgeous. And I feel horrendous that I'm not currently wearing them. Sorry so bad um but if you want to buy a pair of those earrings pop over to Mannix and co or have a look at my socials they're everywhere there's a super cool um discount code as well for anybody that wants to take advantage of that and this whole boom thing was not about pushing product and not about making money by any stretch of imagination um zoe and i have been talking about it for a while and she just made me these amazing pair of earrings oh, many months ago now and i thought god these are cool there's going to be lots of people who want to get their hands on these and boom, we collaborated and came up with this little story. So um, over the next week, check out my social pages. Come back each day and have a look. And it'll be really interesting for you guys to hear other people's boom moments as well because um, we have to get more comfortable in celebrating the teeny tiny little milestones and the teeny tiny meaningful milestones as we move forward and some of the milestones that this get amazing gang of people will talk about in the next week you might perceive as not being ridiculously amazing moments and some of them are not fire walking kind of moments some of them are just these little things that make you realize huh, I have got this yes I can keep going or yes I am really good at my job or hells yeah that was a great win for a client or whatever it might be and I almost feel like there's more meaning in the little milestones that keep pushing us forward and keep motivating us. Um, and if nothing else, you'll you'll hopefully connect with a group of amazing people. You'll hear about their biz journeys. And again, that might just fuel some of that motivation in your tummy. So by showcasing their amazing um, boom moments, I'm hoping you'll start to see that you all have amazing boom moments that are worth celebrating as well and you just have to slow down for a nanosecond and sit there in it and go oh, boom um, and if you can consistently remind yourself of those meaningful moments the momentum will build and you will keep moving forward it's when we forget about the good stuff that we're doing and forget about all the achievements that we do have no matter how big or how small when we start to spiral or when we start to realize that it's all too hard and I'm gonna give up and it's not worth it and blah 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 but if you can focus on some of the positive stuff that's happening no matter how big or how small and the ones that I've talked about today are pretty monumental for me um, but there's been a million little ones and you will hear me on my stories every single day going hi I just had an awesome client meeting boom it's just another little reminder that I am shit hot at what I do and that I am more than capable of doing it again and serving great clients and so on and so forth and moving forward so those minor milestones taking stock and having a teeny tiny little celebration with you by yourself and or with a group of people um you know like does it get any better we have to start being more comfortable with going yeah I am doing okay I'm not setting the world on fire just yet I'm not saving lives but we are we are doing all right so stop celebrate acknowledge the amazingness that you are achieving and remind yourself of those boom moments I keep a list of them I've actually got a, a book in my drawer um, of just teeny tiny little boom moments and when I'm having one of those pity parties I pull out my book and I'm like oh yeah I did good there and I did good there all right maybe I can do good pity party shut down moving forward so I hope that helps you understand what a boom moment is all about. Boom, boom, boom. Add those three to the tally. I think there's been about 75,000. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to showcasing some of the amazing people on my feed in the next week. Um, I freaking love, like there's so, so many good stories and so many good images of them as well wearing their amazing boom earrings, which I'm not. 
dickhead, am I? Um, yeah. If you've got any questions, just shout. If you've got a boom moment that you want to share, no matter how big or how small, comment below and we can start a little boom party. Hmm. Good thinking, Emily. I feel like there needs to be a boom party. I'm on it. Anyway, comment below, share. I just want you to share one little win that you've had over the last month that's made you think, all right, I've got this. And it might be that you've, Lauren, got your branding sorted or you've had your photo shoot or you've signed your first client or whatever it might be. Just write it down below and we can start celebrating and sharing with one another and realizing that we all have amazing, motivating, meaningful milestones to share and learn from one another with. Um, I've got a, a pretty, I've got a super fun week ahead actually. Uh, I am off to the country today. <laughs> Not really the country. Uh, I'm off to Kyneton to visit some clients and little Miss Carly Plowman. Um, and then tomorrow I'm meeting a brand new client for the first time in the morning, which I'm, I love meeting new clients for the first time. Casey, coming for you, girl. And I know you'll be watching this later. So I look forward to celebrating some of your boom moments with you. Um, Wednesday, I am doing something a little bit different. So you're going to want, want to watch my stories that day. Um, yeah, I'm not going to give too much away, but it's going to be a really cool and very interesting day for ESS. Maybe a little bit scary, so watch this space. Uh, Thursday, I've got some super fun clients. And then on Friday, I'm off to Nine to Thrive. So Biz Chicks event, Emmy Lou, um, Brazilian other amazing humans that are going to be there. Lots of you on the line are also coming. Yay! Um, so if you are at Biz Chicks on Friday and see me, come and say hello. And I... We'll keep my eyes peeled for you as well. Oh, nice bananas reference, ESS. There's been heaps of bananas stuff on the internet, on the internet, <laughs> on social media over the last week. Um, Jericho Clothing have just launched an amazing bananas collab. And I did a little post about some health and beauty products. I am loving the fact that bananas is getting such a, you know, such a humble fruit. He's getting such a airplay, so much airplay at the moment. Um, anyway. If you're coming to Biz Chicks on Friday and you just happen to be there, please say hello. I would love to hang out. We will selfie the pants off it and have an awesome day. Um, but I'm on emails in and around that. I'm always on social media. I freaking live on social media. Um, so if there's anything I can do to help, just shout. And watch the boom moments because there are some freaking awesome ones um, to share with you guys. And look out for the earrings that I totally should be wearing now. I will do a few stories in a minute wearing them. I'm so sorry, Zoe. I've failed. I've failed. Have a great week, guys. Uh, I hope that was super helpful and interesting. And if not, give me the feedback and tell me because um, I'm really open to constructive feedback. And if there's something better I can be giving you guys, just let me know. Hope, oh, Marie, yes, have a booming week. I will, girl. I hope you do too. Ber Berry Collective, aka Lucy. I'm glad you're feeling motivated. Oh, Lauren, you got them. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you wearing your boom earrings, girl. Zoe, I'm so pumped that you're coming down on Friday. Yay! So good. So good. It's going to be an awesome day. Have a great week, guys, and I will see you soon. Mwah.